nothing. And I cannot wait out there forever watching the guards undress me with their Russian mouse eyes. Emperor Peter. Do we still call you that? You know her as the amazing actress who's rocked our screens in iconic shows like The X-Files and The Crown, but there's so much more to this superstar than meets the eye. From her early days to her rise as a household name, Jillian's journey is packed with twists, turns, and a whole lot of Hollywood magic. Jillian was arrested, questioned by many about her interest in girls, and faced a struggle with switching accents. In this video, we're going to explore some similar rare facts about Jillian Anderson. Plus, you'll get to see some rare photos of her. Jillian Anderson, born on August 9, 1968, in the city of Chicago, Illinois. Her mother, Rosemary Alice, was a computer analyst, while her father, Homer Edward Anderson III, owned a film post-production company. During high school, Jillian Anderson actually dreamt of being a marine biologist. However, her involvement in community theater ignited her passion for acting. Jillian's journey in the world of entertainment started as a member of an amateur actor. This is exactly where the story of an iconic career began. Somehow, I have no idea how the transition was made from wanting to be an archaeologist or a marine biologist to wanting to be an actress, but it just kind of happened, Jillian said in an interview. Jillian's mom remembers how her daughter always had a flair for drama right from the start. It's just in her nature, she said. But what really caught Rosemary's attention was when Jillian was 14. Her teacher gave her the famous balcony scene from Romeo and Juliet. Now, Jillian had zero experience with Shakespeare or acting, but Jillian took on that scene like a pro. Before the acting bug bit, Jillian was into the punk rock scene. She even got a nose ring, which caused quite a stir. I nearly passed out when it was put in. My dad was really mad about it, Jillian recalls. Her teenage years were a bit wild, as she puts it. She confessed, I was arrested on graduation night for breaking and entering into the high school. Despite being involved in such notorious incidents, she earned a BFA degree from the Goodman Theater School at DePaul University in Chicago. Later, she attended the National Theater of Great Britain's summer program at Cornell University, New York. Her theater career kicked off in New York City with roles in productions like Absent Friends and The Philanthropist. Oh, you leading up to? Let's turn the light on here. What light? That Which one? The one with the paper thing on it. However, it wasn't until 1993, The X-Files, where Anderson's big break came, where she played Dana Scully, an FBI agent. The show's intriguing storylines and the chemistry between Anderson and David Duchovny garnered a massive following, which made it a 90s TV sensation with 20 million viewers every week. Anderson's spectacular performance later earned her an Emmy Award in 1997. In the nominations for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series, Gillian Anderson for The X-Files. As luck would have it, she found out that she had won the role of Agent Scully on the same day when her last unemployment check arrived. I couldn't put the script down, Gillian recalled. I didn't foresee at all that it was going to become as popular as it has. I often thought, what have I gotten myself into? Gillian recalled the first season of X-Files. Amidst the hustle and bustle of the set, love blooms on set when Jillian's met Clyde Klotz, the assistant art director of the series at the time. As she recalls, it wasn't an instant spark, but rather a gradual flame that flickered to life over three months. It was Clyde's smile that first caught my eye, Jillian muses. He had an air of quiet confidence, a rugged charm that drew her in. But soon, she discovered that behind that cool exterior was a very intelligent man. Then came that fateful New Year's Day of 1994. Jillian and Clyde flew to Hawaii, where they exchanged vows on the 17th hole of a picturesque golf course. Their witness? A wise Buddhist monk, the conductor of their sacred union. Gillian couldn't contain her excitement. She penned a letter to her parents with strict instructions to unseal it only on New Year's Day. When they finally read it, her mum, who had already met Clyde, and her dad, were overjoyed. Love had found its way, and it was a beautiful beginning for this dynamic duo. Did you know that Gillian Anderson can effortlessly switch between a British and an American accent? Born in Chicago, Gillian moved to London with her family when she was two, and returned to the States when 11 and settled in Grand Rapids, Michigan. But here's the kicker, 
Gillian's accent is as versatile as her acting chops. She spilled the beans and confessed that it's easier for her to speak with an American accent in the US and then speak with her British accent when she's in the UK. I was in Los Angeles recently with a couple of Brits and I thought, I'm going to see what it's like to talk among Americans with a British accent. And I felt so uncomfortable, she said. It felt so disingenuous. And I kept thinking, they must think I'm a complete twat. But when I'm here, it's nearly impossible for me to maintain an American accent. When Gillian Anderson moved to Michigan from the UK at the age of 11, she had hoped for a place filled with sunshine, happiness, and whatnot. However, her school years turned out quite different from what she had imagined. Anderson went on to reveal that her relationships in high school caused a bit of a stir, especially one she had with another girl. When asked if she meant a romantic relationship, Anderson confirmed, yeah, yeah, well, it's, you know, I'm old enough that I can talk about that. Later, she explained that she's had several relationships with women over the years. Nevertheless, Anderson emphasized that most of her romantic relationships have been with men, and she's never felt the need to make a big fuss about her same-sex romances. If I had thought I was 100% gay, would it have been a different experience for me? She told Out Magazine. Would it have been a bigger deal if shame had been attached to it, and all those things that become huge, life-altering issues for youngsters in that situation? It's possible that my attitude around it came on some level from knowing that I still liked boys, she added. After nine seasons, two movies, and a recent comeback, fans are still head over heels for Gillian Anderson's portrayal of Dana Scully. Some say it's the captivating connection between Mulder and Scully that kept viewers hooked and made the show a classic. Gillian earned lots of award nods for her role as Scully and her 1997 Golden Globes win, an Emmy nomination only added to the show's fame. Here are the nominees for Best Performance by an Actress in a Television Series Drama. Gillian Anderson, The, the X-Files. X -Files. But here's a secret. Playing Scully wasn't all smooth sailing for Gillian. In an interview in 2018, both Gillian Anderson and David Duchovny confronted the challenges of being the same characters for so long. Gillian even admitted to Chris Carter, the show's creator, that sometimes she struggled to bring out Scully's skepticism in fresh ways. At times, it made it hard for her to see Scully as the iconic character she really was. Jillian confessed, There were definitely times where I was struggling with Scully, and I was not appreciative of the very essence of who she was because of that fact. Anderson's struggle just didn't stop here. When you're Jillian Anderson, bumping into paparazzi comes with a package deal, yet Anderson doesn't want to accept it as normal in her life. She gets really frustrated and really annoyed with photographers, especially with desperate ones. Her annoyance peaked, especially during the peak of the X-Files. This made being both a new mom and a star a real juggling act. Taking my daughter to the park became a camera event, Anderson shared. She added, I couldn't take my daughter to the park without long lenses and stuff, she continued. If that were the case in the UK, I would not live here. I just can't stand it. That's it for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up to show your support. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you're always in the loop. And lastly, please check out one of the videos showing up on your screen. It might interest you.